What up boys, this is the uh, pre and post raid disc best lists video. Uh, I've got four best lists here. We've got PvE pre and post raid and we've got PvP pre and post raid. Uh, and I'm redoing the PvP one because the diamond patch is coming out so I'm going to be including diamond items in these videos. So they're going to be completely updated and ready for the 15th and 16th when that comes out so you know what to farm and um, what to hold on to. All right, this is the disc PvP pre-raid set that I've made. Uh, some of it will be the same as before. We've got a few different pieces though. I'm going to quickly go through everything. Our, uh, our kind of ideology here is we need a bit of hit or as much hit as we can get up to 4%. Not enough items to get that yet, but we're going for it. We want to have a decent mana pool and a decent amount of stam so that we can survive and keep casting for a good while. Uh, healing not as important here, damage not as important here either. So without further ado, we got the Dreadmiss Mask, and we still get the two set for the 200 armor. Um, so I believe Dreadmiss is the best helm still pre-raid. And then we still have the Star for the hit. Uh, there's nothing really to replace that yet. Necro Mantle, and we're actually going to go for four-piece Necro for the Necro for the 15 all resists. Uh, that doesn't really change. We're switching out boots because we've got some better boots available from Diamore. We'll see that later. Obviously, Hide of the Wild is now out from Diamore. Uh, solid in and stam on it, and then really good healing, so it's an easy pickup. Then the Necro Robe again. Uh, this is kind. Of, it, this was a toss up between this and Alana's. Went for this in the end. You could also go for Alana's Robe. It's a little bit harder to get, uh, and then Necro Boots. That's fine too. This is just a little bit more realistic. But if you are feeling spicy and you want to farm some Scholar, then by all means get Alana's, skip the chest, and put on the Necro Boots. Obviously Necro Cuffs, pretty solid item overall. Not much that can contest it. Uh, and obviously you need it for the full set as well. Then Staff, I've changed my mind on the uh, the lower Black Rock Spire Staff, and I've gone with the Glowing Brightwood Staff now. It just has slightly more stats overall. Uh, shouldn't be too expensive to buy. Maybe a couple of hundred gold, but if you're still waiting to do MC or you haven't started yet, you want to get your benediction. Uh, so rather, you haven't had a chance to get your benediction, then this is a good pickup. Uh, then obviously Storm Rager is best one for a little while. We've talked about it before. Uh, just hold on to that for now. It's good for a little while longer. And then obviously the Dread Mist gloves. There was another option on gloves, but obviously we need the two set, and that just makes these stronger. Then for belt, we've got the clutch, has the 1% hit, solid int and stamina, and necro legs, solid stats all round on these, and obviously you're getting your four set from them as well, so it's worth it. Uh, boots of the full moon from Dire Maul. this is a new pickup, and this kind of replaces the necro boots, obviously, unless you go for Alana's, as I said before. And then new ring from Dire Maul. has good int and stam on, and then slight, a little bit of healing, a little bit of spirit on as well. Spirit's not that important, but the healing is nice. And then Blood of the Martyr stays as the second ring with the 15 stam 10 in. This got really good stats on, it's tough to replace. <clears throat> and then Trinkets, we've got Royal Seal. And Mind Tap Talisman. And I'd say that you can potentially replace Mind Tap Talisman with whatever NG stuff you want. Uh, just rotate that shit around. Um, but as a base, these two are solid. And then let's have a quick look at post raid. Uh, We've got a few changes here. Uh, we got we, we still got the T2 helm. As obviously, there's no t uh, third part of T2 available yet, but as soon as it is, then we'll get that on regardless. Um, staying with the 2% hit from the star and the belt. And then shoulders, we're going Mantle of Prophecy. Just generally good stats all round on it. And we're going to go for the five-piece Prophecy here. Uh, so yeah, the shoulders here are a good pickup, and then Hide of the Wild stays, still uh, post-raid bis. The other option is the Cloak from Anixia, Saffron Drape, but I believe Hide of the Wild is slightly better for Disc uh, due to the increased healing. Uh, chest is going to be Robes of Prophecy, again really solid stats on it, a little bit of healing and we're using it for the 5 set. The 3 set is also really nice, a little bit extra haste on the flash heal, which is handy in PvP, or at least small scale PvP. Braces. Van Brace of Prophecy just best in slot all round on the uh, on the wrist slot in uh, in the early phases, so easy one to pick up, powerful item. 
Uh, make sure you grab that when you can. And then Benediction for the staff, obviously, is best for a few phases. Storm Rager stays as the wand. No changes there. And then we've got the Gloves of Prophecy, which are, are decent. There's a couple of other gloves available that are only slightly worse, but we, these just kind of beat it out a little bit and have a bit of mana regen on as well, and obviously we're getting the, the five set. So it's, it's tough to beat that. Legs of Transcendence stays. Boots of Prophecy. And then we've got the Cauterizing Band, Band of Sulfurous combo. I think the band is potentially slightly better due to the high int on it. So definitely try and pick up one of those if you can, rather than running double cauterizing. But if you do have the luxury of going double cauterizing, that's fine too. Shard of the Scale. Just generally solid in terms of regen for the world PvP. And then Talisman. Good luck getting that if you're a priest. You probably have to pick it up from a pug or something, or if your guild is crazy and has you a shadow, then uh, maybe you'll get a chance of getting it there. But otherwise you're going to have to wait for the mages and the warlocks to get it, I'd say. Essentially, what we're thinking is... Healing is kind of more powerful right now than regen. So the items change slightly because of that. And the reason for that is most competent guilds or even semi-competent semi guilds at the moment are clearing bosses quite quickly. Uh, people, you know, obviously are better at the game now than they were back in, back in the day where the fights lasted a little bit longer, your DPS were worse, and so healers had to last, you know, longer, do more healing. So regen right now is not as important. Healing is more important just because then you can pump more healing in a shorter time without actually going oom. So without further ado, we're gonna we're gonna start with the helm, which is the BOE green. Eternal Crown of Healing. Obviously, Cassandra's Grace is an option. I think this one's better. The key point here is the enchant. This is new Diamond Enchant, Arcanum of Focus. It's gonna require um, a pristine black diamond, some skin of shadow, uh and some large brilliant shards, I believe. Something else as well. Can't quite remember, but easy enough to find. Uh, and that's that's from Diamond. Then we've still got the animated chain necklace that stays. Same as before, burial shawl. Again, you have the option here of switching to Sunderseer if you do want a bit more regen, but burial shawl is fine. Uh, then we've got the new cloak hide of the wild. Uh, that's a pattern from Diamond. So as soon as somebody gets that, these are gonna be uh, in a frenzy, I think. Definitely best cloak for uh, PvE right now, for sure. Really good healing on it. Uh, then we've got the True Faith, still nothing changed there. Uh, braces, Flame Weave, Cuffs of Healing. This is all, th There's a few pairs of Braces with 33 healing on, including green ones. These ones actually just have 10 Fires as well. But you can pick up... Uh, different random surfaces. You can pick up Masters Braces of Healing. You know, there's plenty of different ones. You can get all the Tier 4 ones as well from Strat. So you got the option there. The 10 Fire Rise isn't essential. And then we still go with Hammer of Grace. Uh, but now we have a new offhand from Tribute in Diamore. Uh, the Brightly Glowing Stone. And then a uh, 20 Healing Wand. 20 is quite rare. It's going to be going for quite a lot of gold. If you can get an 18, that's fine too. You can get an 18 for like 40, 50 gold. They're going for at the moment. Gloves, we've got the Hands of the Exalted Herod. Or Herald, rather. The Italian gloves of healing are probably better, but they're very, very, very hard to get. These are a lot more reasonable to pick up, so if you're pushed for time, go for these ones. If you've got loads of free time, then maybe go for the Italian ones. Belt, we've got a new piece. This is from, uh, from Diamond as well. We've got the Whipbind Cord. Really amazing belt. A lot of, in, lot of mana per five, a lot of healing on it. So that kind of beats out the green that we had there before. And then Padre's Trousers beats out the uh, Chief Architects. Um, by a decent bit. About the same healing, but it's got more int, more regen. So, easy pick up there. And then boots of the full moon from Diamond as well. Um, just more healing on them. About the same stats as the other boots we were using. But these just went out because of the increased healing there. Rings are staying the same. Fordering seal and rose wine. Nothing changed there. And then trinkets, we're thinking second wind. And then you rotate it to Briarwood when it's on cooldown. If you really try hard, otherwise you can just run run Briarwood if you're feeling lazy, it's a little bit more healing. Uh, this is going to give you 300 mana when you use it, but it's a 15 minutes cooldown. And then new trinket is the Royal Seal. Uh, this is from the book in Diamore, if you get one drop. Uh, probably best trinket for a good while, so make sure you get one of those. 
obviously other option in Diamond is the Mind Tap Talisman. Uh, if you are looking for more regen, you can actually get two of those and switch them in as you see fit. So that's the, the pre-raid. Then we've got post-raid. Uh, not so much has changed here, but there's a couple of couple of switches. Halos stay in the same T2 helm. Still got the animated chain necklace. Uh, and then we're going for three-piece prophecy. We've got the mantle. Um, and then we've got Van Braces of Pro Prophecy. I'm going to skip ahead. And Boots of Prophecy. Boots of Prophecy, the best boots available, even though they're not go not that great. Van Braces, just generally the most solid braces available. Otherwise, you're obviously going for the green. These just generally have more stats and regen. So it's not, not a huge... Uh, hit and healing there, so it's worth, worth worth switching out. Hide of the Wild, as I said before, picked up from Diamond as a crafting recipe. Make sure you get your lava acids, uh, your your essence of water, your living essence, all that jazz. Cured rugged hides for that as well. Quite a pricey one to craft, but if you've got a lot of the mats already, then you should be chilling. True face still the same, no change there. And then benediction, obviously, we picked up from MC with a with a lunar wand of healing again. This is going to be best for a good while. Uh, so again, if you can get an 18, that's fine. If you if you pick up a 20 for not an extortionate amount, then congrats. Or if you find one, then you're even luckier. Uh, again, Hands of the Exalted Herald stays. Whip Vine Cord stays. These are both uh, post-raid bis as well. And then obviously the T2 legs are coming in. They're really solid. A lot of healing, a lot of regen on those. And then as soon as Blackwing Lair comes in, we're going to obviously be looking to pick up any piece of Transcendence for that three-piece, which is probably the best three-piece you can get for priests uh, in classic. Then we've got the Court Rising Band. It's actually not unique, but the, let's be real, you're probably not getting two. If you get two, great. If you don't, then Ford Ring Seal uh, stays as second ring, which is fine. And then we've got the Royal Seal again, um, which is best for a good while. Uh, I feel like we would replace Briarwood with Rejuvenating Gem, and then we run this until... Potentially something from Nax. Not entirely sure. I haven't looked that far ahead yet. Um, and then obviously the Briarwood read in the second slot, which you can switch with Second Wind if you feel like you want a little bit more regen. So that's that's the the disc my my disc PVE picks. Uh, they'll be pretty similar, I think, to a lot of the other bis lists out there. But people have been asking me to do one, so I figured we'd sit down and have a go. Let me know what you think. Let me know if there's any uh, slots that you don't agree with. Be interested to hear. And. Uh, I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.